Hello folks, Aaron from the Giant Tortoise Farm today. I wanted to show you an experiment that I was doing to try to help increase the UVB in my banana and pied Mexican spiny tail enclosures. Now, we're in the greenhouse. You can kind of give a, a, a look up there. We're in the greenhouse and of course, you know, a lot of people think UVB doesn't go through the green, doesn't go, UVB does not go through the greenhouse film, but in fact it does. That's what it's made for. We have a UVB test meter here. And what we did notice that when we built these enclosures, this wall here cuts a lot of the sun during certain times of the day. So I was thinking about a way that I could increase the UVB. I thought about adding extra bulbs. I thought about adding extra fixtures. But I want to show something. I want to show you something that we tried. Let me just get the phone here and yeah, I'll just put this here. So, okay, in the first pen, you can actually see here. Mary, you read out to us what you're seeing. So we have 001. Yeah, not even one point there. Point one. We're moving around like we were doing. And so in these cages, we're not getting any UVB. We're actually pointing 100% away from the sun now. And go down low, like by the water bowl, and point up too, you know. See, you're just not getting any UVB in this area. So at certain times of the day when the sun is a little bit more overhead, we do get UVB. But look at this. What I, I've come up with a, a, an idea. I figured, let me put a piece of tin foil in the back of the cage. And look at the difference that we're getting. Now from here we have 19, 20, 15, 16, 20. Now, even much closer, look at all of that reflective UVB that's coming off there and coming into the cage at different angles. So by adding this simple piece of, uh, of tin foil, I'm able to increase the UVB in this enclosure a lot. And it's still all natural UVB. This is not artificial UVB because we're outside and we're in our greenhouse. So, you know, we use uh, the misters and stuff like that. I didn't want to... Uh, to, uh, to to add UVB bulbs and have to deal with misters and stuff like that. But this is really something interesting. I'm going to keep track of it and get some additional data, but uh, let me just pass this back over to Mario. But that's a quick tip from the farm, folks. When you have an area, maybe a pen that's shaded, you can use something simple like a mirror, of course, or, or, uh, or uh, tin foil and create like a UVB reflector. So that's it, folks. That's a wrap. Take care, everybody. Appreciate it.